Okay, and in this pencast, our last one of this section, uh, we're going to talk about congruence of omega triangles. Uh, this is going to, we're actually going to prove theorem 9.5, and we're going to leave theorem 9.6 merely as a statement uh, that is introducing our discussion forum for the for the, for the week. So theorem 9.5 says that omega triangles are congruent if the sides of finite length are congruent and if a pair of corresponding angles are congruent. So we have two omega triangles, A, B, omega. We have another pair, A prime, B prime, omega prime. <clears throat> and we are going to suppose that A, B, and A prime, B prime have the same length. And uh, we're supposed to assume that one pair of angles <clears throat> is equal or one pair congruent, and since it doesn't really matter which pair we choose, we're going to choose the one that makes our diagram look nicer, we are going to say that <clears throat> the angle at A is equal to the angle at A prime. And now what we need to show for these two omega triangles to be congruent is that the angles at B are congruent. So <clears throat> suppose that angle B, the angle at B is not equal to the angle at B prime. Then one of them has to be smaller than the other one, and without loss of generality, suppose that the measure of angle the angle at B is smaller than the angle at B prime. Well, if the angle at B is smaller than the angle at B prime, then that means that we can construct a line that forms the angle at B inside the larger angle at B prime. <clears throat> now, that means that over here on this triangle on the right, that we're going to be constructing a line that is below the, par the parallel line at B prime. And so this line must intersect. Uh, this bottom line over here, and we're going to call that point C prime. Now, this segment, A prime, C prime, has a certain length, and we can construct a segment of exactly that length over here on this triangle, and we'll call this point C. So this side has exactly the same length as this side. And now if we connect the points B and C over here, we have a triangle ABC, which turns out to be congruent to triangles A prime, B prime, C prime by the side angle side theorem, side angle side. <clears throat> triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Now, this is a contradiction. Why? Take a minute. Think about it. Did you think of the contradiction? I cheated and I paused and I thought about it for a few minutes and then I realized, aha, the problem is that this angle here, A prime, B prime, C prime, was assumed to be equal to the angle B over here. But now we've constructed this line inside this triangle and we've constructed an angle that is strictly smaller than the angle at B but supposedly has exactly the same measure as the angle at B. And that is our contradiction. Angle, oops, an angle A, B, C is congruent to angle A, B, omega, which is nonsense. Okay, so uh, we can't have the two um, angles at the top being different from one another, so it suffices to show that the, the finite sides have the same length and one pair of angles are congruent. The other convergence theorem uh, that we're not going to, we're not going to prove it here, uh, essentially says that if you can show that the pairs of angles are congruent, then that segment between them uh, must be, those, the segments between those two angles must be of the same length. And therefore, it suffices to show that uh, the, the corresponding angles are congruent <clears throat> to prove that a pair of omega triangles are congruent. And this leads us into our discussion, which is the congruence theorems for triangles. Okay, I hope to, I look forward to seeing what you write.